Do you compare yourself to others? Let's be honest, we all compare ourselves to others from time to time, and sometimes without even knowing it. However, if we are not aware of it, that can create a lot of unnecessary challenges in our lives. So in this episode, I want to share with you how to stop comparing yourself to others and how to feel that you're good enough. So now, let's heal. Hello everyone, welcome back to You Can Be Healed. This is Connie. If it's the first time here, I'm a certified faith healer and I do emotional healing and coaching. So recently, I've been working with few clients who all have the comparison issues that they keep comparing themselves with others and that creates a lot of anxiety and constantly make them feel that they're not good enough. So that's why I think it's really worth to make this episode and to share with you how can you stop comparing yourself with others. Most of the time, the comparison is really coming from inside that you're not feeling good enough. Perhaps you're not feeling that you're smart enough. Maybe you're feeling that you're not good looking or not pretty enough. That is also coming from the insecurity that inside us. And that all related to the limiting beliefs, how you feel and how you see yourself. There can be different ways that you can compare yourself. Most of the time for women, We always compare our appearance with others. And sometimes we also compare material things and lifestyles, especially social media. We all browse social media. And sometimes we spend so much time checking out all other people's lifestyles. And instantly you start to compare your life your success with all these people on social media. You'll be really surprised that that I actually work with different people and some are very successful. And if you check on their social media accounts, you will see that they look absolutely amazing in their social media platform. But when they came to me, they're actually suffering a lot inside. They have a lot of emotional struggles going on inside of them. So what you see on social media is not really what you think that it is. And all those comparisons are really coming from the social standard of how we were taught what beauty is or what success should look like. All of those are just the way that we were taught, but it is not true. Imagine that the children, they don't compare themselves to others. We were all born with the knowing that we are good enough. There's no need that the children compare themselves to others. And it was until that they started growing up everything that they were learned and being taught by their parents, by the community. So everything that we learn about comparison, it is not born within us. We were born without any comparison. We were born knowing that we are beautiful enough. We were born to know that we are good enough. I really want you to contemplate on this. Every time when you caught yourself, compare yourself to others, I want you to start to ask yourself, what is that thing that you feel that you're not good enough? And what is that feeling of insecurity coming from? For example, you might think that you're not pretty enough, but really, what is that standard of beauty coming from? Who told you that you need to look a certain way to look beautiful? And one thing very important is when you compare yourself to others, you always compare your worst to their best. When you compare yourself, you only focus on what is not good enough about yourself. We've all been there. I've been there as well. It took me years and a lot of healing to get to where I am today without having to compare myself to others. And even if I do sometimes, as I'm still a human being, I was so aware and so mindful of my thoughts. So if I caught myself then comparing myself to others and I felt that I got triggered, I would ask myself, where is this trigger coming from? Why I'm feeling that? Why this person's success or what this person does that affect, affect my emotion? It's very important to be aware of how you feel all the time. Here's a few things that you can do as well. First thing, realize your strength. It's so important to always remember and remind yourself how much that you have achieved along your whole journey. 
write down everything that you're good at. Write down all your strengths. I will also invite you to ask your best friends to help you. Um, you can ask them, hey, you know, I'm doing my personal growth right now and I want to be a better person. Can you let me know what are the three to five best qualities that you feel or you see in me? And your friends will give you three to five qualities that they see in you. And sometimes you'll be surprised that some qualities you might not even realize that you have, but other people really appreciate that. So do this exercise, invite a few of your friends. I would say maybe you go for five to 10 people and ask them to send you three to five best qualities that they appreciate you, that they appreciate you as a person and that they appreciate you as a friend or family. So we encourage and really invite you to do so. And write down everything that those people told you and add more about the strength that you have, what you feel about yourself good at, what are your strengths, how much that you have achieved in the past. The one thing is that we always forgot how far that we've come. We also forgot all the little achievements that we have achieved along the way and make us as a person today. So it's time to do a check-in in your life and really get yourself into the space that you're really good enough to the realization that there's really no reason that you can compare yourself to others. You have your unique style. You have your unique energy. You have your unique experiences. And those are priceless. No one can replace you. So I want you to know that the comparison actually doesn't exist. If you want to compare, you have to compare someone who is exactly like you, but there's no one is going to be exactly like you. So where is the comparison? When we are not in the same journey, comparison doesn't exist. And once you have this list done, you will appreciate yourself much more. And second thing is, remember that the people that you are compared to are not flawless. They are not perfect. They also have a lot of things going on in their life that you cannot see. Sometimes it's bigger than you can imagine. You have no idea what they're going through inside of them. They may show you all the beautiful things outside because they're trying to protect themselves. So you cannot compare to them unless you are in their shoes. And also, it is okay to be who you are. Accept yourself to be who you are. You don't have to fit in how others look like, what others do. You don't have to do exactly what everyone else is doing. Focus on what truly makes you happy. What is your passion? What do you truly want to be? Be yourself. Always be yourself. That's the most beautiful person that you can become when you accept yourself as who you are and love who you are. Whatever that I feel or what things happened, I will ask myself what I'm learning from this. What is this trying to teach me? Why I feel that way? Where is this feeling coming from? You know, it, I know that I keep repeating myself, always ask yourself because it's so important as so many people that I met, they never ask themselves questions. And I am the one who always love to ask myself questions because no one can tell you how you feel as, except yourself as that's your own experiences. And you will need to learn how to communicate with yourself in a positive way. Most of the time, we will instantly blame ourselves or say, say some negative words to ourselves. We will just let all these autopilot thoughts controlling our life. But if you have that thought and you challenge the thought by asking yourself questions that I can assure you, your life will change amazingly. What you need is just a little bit of awareness and ask yourself the right questions. Actually, our negative thoughts are indications about something that we need to work on in ourselves, something that we need to heal and something that we need to be aware of. So when you be aware of what is going inside of you, the comparison somehow will not exist anymore. Because when you really focus working on yourself, instead of checking what is happening outside, when you have that confidence, when you love yourself enough, what is happening outside or what other people do or say doesn't really matter to you. 
I have an episode talking about how to stop negative talk. I will put the link in the description below, and please go and watch it as I have a lot of sharings there that can help you to stop the negative talk. And by the way, I have this six weeks self love channel with daily checker on Amazon. I will put the link in the description below. Feel free to check it out. When you truly love yourself, when you truly accept who you are, you will no longer need to compare yourself to others. So everything really comes back to within you. Everything starts from within. And I would love to end this episode with one of my favorite quotes from Buddha. He said, "Don't compare your life to others. There's no comparison." Between the sun and the moon, they shine when it's their time. You will shine when it's your time, and your time is coming. I hope this message helps you. Thanks again for watching wherever you are. I'm sending you all love and light, and I will see you next week. Bye bye.